Hi everybody, welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Geometric Patterns. My name is Deering and I'm going to guide you through this design. Usually I don't narrate the design but I am trying new things out. I'm going to start with a setup of the design by creating a grid. And this grid is going to be spaced um, in squares of one centimeter apart from each other. And I'm using a triangular ruler which has lines on it so I can sp space the lines evenly apart from each other and make sure that the lines are perpendicular to each other. I'll put a link down in the description box so you can check that one out. And basically I'm trying to make a grid uh, of about 20 by 20 centimeters, a little, a little bit more. Uh, I'll extend the lines later on but using a longer uh, ruler but this one's nice because you can make the lines perpendicular to each other the vertical and the horizontal lines and making sure everything is squared of course you can also draw on grid paper if you like for me it's a perfect way to practice this design the disadvantage of drawing on grid paper, of course, is you cannot erase the guidelines. You cannot erase the lines of the grid. If you want to only have the design uh, show and not the guidelines. So that's a dis disadvantage. But if, it's, if the perp, it's, it serves the purpose of practicing the drawing, so it's a perfect way to start with. So I'll make a PDF file available on my website and you can download a PDF file with a grid paper grid on it. And you can print it out if you have a printer and then practice it. I'm now going to start with the design. I have two methods of drawing this and this is the first one. It's basically just connecting the opposite sides in a diagonal, the opposite side, opposite points of a square. As you see here, and then I mirror it the other side as well by connecting the opposite side, opposite points, I must say, of the square. And this is what they call a fourfold star. And it fits in a nine by a three by three square. And once you have done that, I'm going to mirror them again to, uh, on your upper upper side. But as you have, might have noticed, I'm focusing on the star. So I'm creating a pattern by focusing on the star. And later on, I'm going to show you a different method. And I'll be using instead of the fourfold star i'm going to use the six pointed hexagon as you can see appearing in the middle of the four star but for now i'm going to focus on the fourfold star and finish this pattern in that manner I'm going to increase the speed and time lapse this and fill it in with some black ink. And you can see the pattern emerge very nicely. And I'm going to show you the second way of drawing this pattern by focusing on the hexagon. So the six 
pointed shape is going to be my starting shape and I'm going to start with a vertical version of it and let it stand up upright and the point is touching the horizontal one in the middle and then the second one starts off horizontally and the uh, the ends are touching the vertical one in the middle as you can see here and the other the second the third one is going to be the similar to the first one is going to be vertical and the fourth one is again horizontally drawn and so on and so forth I think that's an easier way to draw this pen and instead of focusing on the stars that can be a little bit confusing by just focusing on the hexagons it's a much more sim simple way to have a view on the pattern and where the line should be going I personally think so so there are two ways to draw this pattern and uh, both create the same pattern in the end and this one is I think a little bit easier to draw so So we've arrived at the end of the tutorial, I hope you liked it, uh, I really enjoyed this pattern even though it was very simple, it still is uh, quite a nice appealing, different from the usual way of doing this tutorial, I've been uh, speaking in this tutorial instead of just having the sound, uh, instead of just having the music in the background, I hope you enjoyed that one as well, I'm just trying new things out, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it, what I can improve or things that I can even add on or even uh, um, change a little bit more. I've been, I've been working very hard to get ahead of time because I'm posting every week but I want to work on my website as well so that's why I'm trying to keep my uh, tutorials of these coming weeks a little bit more simple compared to the usual complex ones and that's it actually. If you want to download the uh, grid paper you can go to my website uh, best thing to do is just click on the link in the description box i'll be updating that link for you guys and you can just download it for free and use it and practice the design that i've drawn without doing the setup beforehand and after after you've mastered this design and understand the logic behind this then you can of course apply it in all kinds of ways and then even draw your own grid setup and then draw it and then you can erase the grid lines which you can do uh, with the grid paper of course so that's only for practice I imagine or maybe it's for your enjoyment just to draw this design and not do anything with it so that's it for now I hope you enjoyed the video um, subscribe if this is the first time that you've been watching this video um, tag me on Instagram if you have something to share with me and I hope to see you next week. Bye bye.